Good morning, everyone. And thank you for being here at today's announcement in Lorette. It's fantastic to be here in this community today. Before we get started, I'd like to acknowledge that we are gathered on Treaty 1 territory and that Manitoba is located on the treaty territories of the ancestral lands of the Anishina Bay, Anishinaabek, Dakota Owate, Dene Sule, Nahetoboko, and we acknowledge Manitoba is located on the homeland of the Manitoba Red River Métis. We acknowledge Northern Manitoba includes lands that were and are the ancestral lands of the Inuit. We respect the spirit and intent of treaties and treaty making and remain committed to working in partnership with First Nations, Inuit and Métis people in the spirit of truth, reconciliation and collaboration. For those of you that don't know, I'm Bob Legacy. I'm the MLA for Dawson Trail and I'm pleased to be joined here today by the Premier of Manitoba, Heather Stephenson, my uh, Mayor Armin Poitier from the Armitage, Justin Johnson of the, oh, sorry, I already forgot what you're part of, Manitoba Bilingual Municipalities, uh, sorry, I'm remiss to forget Ted Falk here, <laughs> our, our local MP, and many other dignitaries in this crowd, Uh, oh, I'm also joined along with Yvonne Romanek and Michelle de, la, de Quacri, board members of the Bibliothèque Taché Library. Thank you for joining us here today for this announcement. Now at this time, I'd like to invite the Premier up to the podium. Thank you very much, uh, Bob. Great to be back in, in Lorette today. Always a wonderful place to be. I just want to recognize Mayor uh, Poirier, who's here as well with us, and uh, MP Ted Falk, as well as I believe MLA uh, Smoke is here with us as well, but he might be staying warm in there. I'm not sure where he is. Uh, but it's just so great to be here. What a wonderful uh, opportunity uh, to be back in Lorette today with each and every one of you. Um, it is, uh, it's been a while now since my kids, I guess, have, have stopped uh, playing hockey, but I'll tell you, I've been in these types of rinks pretty much all over our province, and this is exactly why we're here today, is to make sure we're upgrading these facilities uh, for future generations, and so I'm just so excited to be here. And I think this is indicative of when we all work together, what we can achieve uh, together. And so it's just such an honor for me to be back out here with, with all of you for this exciting announcement today. Over the past year, we have made it clear that our government is keen to collaborate with all levels of government to advance key infrastructure projects that will improve Manitobans' quality of life, create jobs and spur economic growth. And as we gather here today in Lorette uh, Community Centre, we recognize how important recreational facilities are for the health and well-being of our local communities and our economy, and of course, the children as well who are here with us today and uh, who are practicing, this is why we're here. It's all about our children. And I'm pleased uh, to announce today, with the support of the Government of Canada and the RM of Taché, a total investment of more than $8 million for a new community centre in this, in Lorette. As part of this significant commitment, our government is pleased to provide more than $3.6 million to help construct this new community complex that will feature a new arena and library. And I'm sure we're going to hear more about these exciting initiatives very shortly. The new Taché Community Centre will offer more options to stay active and connected, and it will inspire community members of all ages to gather, create and to learn. This infrastructure investment will help stimulate the economy, create jobs and support the continued growth of our, of our community. So congratulations once again to the many community members who have been involved in this project. We know these things don't happen alone and I think you see all of the people around here today who have really made this happen. And we're just so honoured to be just such a small part of this. So thank you very, very much for allowing me to say a few words today and, uh, and kick off this announcement. Uh, thank you so much. Merci.
Thank you, Premier. After many years and many promises from other politicians, I'm proud to, be, to say that it's our PC government that is getting this project done. Our PC team and caucus recognizes how important Eastman is, and this new arena will provide a great new space for Taché. I'd like to invite now Mayor Poirier to say a few words on behalf of the federal government. Thank you, Emily uh, Lagasse. I have a statement here from uh, the Honorable Dan Vandell, Minister of Northern Affairs and Minister Responsible for Prairie Scan and Canor. The message reads, Today is a great day for residents of Taché. Our government knows the value <clears throat> of investing in infrastructure to keep our rural communities safe, healthy, and resilient. Today, our government is pleased to announce $4.4 million in federal funding to support the construction of a new community centre in the municipality of Taché. This investment will make a difference in the community by improving access recreational infrastructure used every day by residents. With more spaces to learn and opportunities to stay active for years to come, the new Taché Community Centre will make the community a more dynamic and vibrant place to call home. By investing in the infrastructure that keeps our communities running, our federal government is working to improve the lives of Canadians. We will keep working closely together with all partners to build a stronger economy and brighter, more prosperous tomorrow. That's a statement from the uh, Honourable Dan Vandell, Minister of Northern Affairs, Minister responsible for Prairie Scan and Canor. I'm going to proceed with my speech now. Is that what you want me to do? Okay. So with that, um, good morning, everyone. And this is my part of the address. For those of you uh, who do not know me, I'm Armin Pori, the mayor of the Arm of Tashi. I'm pleased and excited to be part of this wonderful announcement of federal and provincial funding for the Taché Community Centre today. Honourable Premier Stephenson, Member of Parliament Ted Polk, MLA's Bob Lagasse and Dennis Smook, on behalf of the Arab of Taché, I thank you wholeheartedly for your generous support of this project that is so important to citizens of all ages in the Arm of Taché. Without further ado, I would like to begin by recognizing the members of the Arm of Taché Council. We have here today Deputy Mayor and Councillor George McGregor, Councillor uh, Natasha Lapierre, Councillor Don Braden, Councillor Marcel Manet, Councillor jo uh, Colleen Jolicoeur, and uh, unfortunately, uh, Councillor Stephen Stein is uh, not able to be with us today. And we have our CAO with us, Christine Hutlett. And yes, I missed uh, Councillor uh, Steve Boker. <laughs> Sorry about that. You're on the list, Steve. I got, I got sidetracked with Stephen uh, Stein's absence and I omitted your name. I'm very sorry about that. And uh, I'm not sure if we have any of the LUD committee members here today. Uh, LUD committee, uh, but we do have uh, Alan Ralph, who's on the Lorette LUD committee with us and he's also our fire chief. For more than a decade many citizen groups, the council and the administration of the arm of Taché have worked tirelessly to make this dream a reality. It was always understood that it was an important project but, that, but one that could not be accomplished without the help of federal and provincial governments. Thank you all for buying into our dream. I must also thank the Association of Manitoba Bilingual Municipalities, the Chair, Mr. Yvonne Normado and CEO Justin Johnson, for their unwavering support of this project. You, along with many citizen groups within the municipality, have helped to keep this dream alive, and thank you. Je dois également remercier l'Association des municipalités bilingues du Manitoba, son président, Mr. Yvonne Normado, et le directeur général, M. Justin Johnson, pour leur soutien indéfectible à ce projet. 
vous ainsi que de nombreux groupes de citoyens au sein de la municipalité avaient contribué à maintenir ce rêve en vie. Merci. Le Centre communautaire de Taché comprendra un nouvel aréna, la bibliothèque Taché Library et le Centre pour aînés, le Club des Blés d'Or. Il s'agira véritablement d'un centre pour tous les âges et il offrira la possibilité d'élargir et de développer les besoins récréatifs et sociaux de nos communautés. Le Taché Community Center will include a new arena, la bibliothèque Taché Library et le Club Blé d'Or Senior Center. It will truly be a center for all ages and provide opportunities to expand and build on our community's recreational and social needs. This community center will be constructed adjacent to the current recreation complex on land the council and administration had the foresight to purchase many years ago in preparation for this moment. It will be constructed to today's environmental standards focusing on accessibility and inclusiveness for the entire community. In, clo in closing, I repeat my sincere thanks to both the federal and provincial governments for their generous funding of this project. I also recognize the hard work and dedication of the Library Committee, the various local groups who organized many fundraising activities, from hockey marathons to cookbook sales, to weekly chase the ace nights at the local hotel, the Club des Bledor Seniors Group, local businesses, and the AMBM. Our dream has survived because of your belief in our community. En conclusion, je réitère mes sincères remerciements au gouvernement fédéral et provincial pour leur généreux financement de ce projet. Je reconnais également le travail acharné et le dévouement du comité de la bibliothèque des divers groupes locaux qui ont organisé de nombreuses activités de collecte de fonds, des marathons de hockey, aux ventes de livres de recettes, en passant par les soirées hebdomadaires euh, chasse à l'as à l'hôtel local, le groupe d'aînés du Club des Blés d'Or, les entreprises locales et l'AMBM. Notre rêve a survécu grâce à votre foi en notre communauté. Merci à tous. Thank you to all. And at the very end here, I would be remiss if I did not thank the facility manager, uh, Mr. Heiko Zinn and his staff, as well as all the personnel from the Arm of Tashi who helped us to uh, put this event together and arrange for all the logistics for today's event. Thanks again. Thank you, Mayor Poirier. I would like to now invite Justin Johnson to the podium. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Bon matin, tout le monde. Uh, L'honorable Heather Stephenson, Premier ministre du Manitoba. Uh, Monsieur Bob Lagacé, député provincial de Dawson Trail. Uh, Mr. Ted Falk, député de Provence. Monsieur Armand Poirier, maire de la municipalité rurale de Taché. Madame Christine Hutlett, la directrice générale de la municipalité rurale de Taché, et aussi mesdames et messieurs les élus municipaux de la municipalité rurale de Taché, distingués invités. On behalf of AMBM President Ivan Normando, our board of directors, and the many elected officials of Manitoba's bilingual municipal leadership, I extend my warmest congratulations to the rural municipality of Taché on this green light for their new community center. And I sincerely thank the federal and provincial governments for their vision and their leadership in providing significant financial support for this much needed project. Aujourd'hui est un grand jour pour les familles de la municipalité rurale de Taché. Today is a good day for families in the rural municipality of Taché. Non seulement parce que la construction du centre communautaire de Taché fait partie des projets prioritaires majeurs de notre stratégie de relance économique municipale, en plus de correspondre aux objectifs d'attraction de nouveaux arrivants dans notre stratégie de soutien à l'immigration économique dans les municipalités bilingues du Manitoba, but also and above all because 
The Tache Community Center is the dream of an entire community that is becoming finally a reality. Une communauté qui s'est serré les coudes et qui a travaillé fort pour réunir des données probantes, solides et cohérentes et gagner l'appui de la population locale. Depuis une trentaine d'années, la collectivité de Taché investit d'importants efforts de consultation, de concertation et aussi de conception, tant de la part des citoyens que des élus de l'administration municipale. Je leur lève mon chapeau. Congratulations to Mayor Armin Poirier, Municipal Council, and Christine Hutlett, the Rural Municipality of Taché's Chief Administrative Officer. Together, they have worked very hard and they have delivered. I am personally moved uh, by this announcement because I grew up here in, in Lorette, which is part of the Rural Municipality of Taché, and it is also the community where my wife and I have chosen to raise our family, our two children, soon to be three. Our children are still very young, but I look forward to telling them about the rich history of their community center that they too will be very proud of. C'est justement en passant aux générations futures que la collectivité de Taché a conçu ce projet de construction. Le centre communautaire de Taché est appelé à faire partie des joyaux représentant la valeur ajoutée du français dans la force du bilinguisme au Manitoba. This project is part of the strategic, strategic priorities for the development of our francophone and bilingual communities. The impact on the resilience, vitality, and development of these communities will be direct because this type of infrastructure helps normalize life and socialization in both official languages here in Manitoba. Depuis de plus, ce projet s'inscrit parmi les stratégies de la municipalité rurale de Taché pour attirer accueillir et favoriser l'inclusion d'un plus grand nombre de personnes immigrantes au sein de leur collectivité rurale. Madame Premier, you are getting the job done. Merci for deeply recognizing the tremendous impact of this type of infrastructure on our francophone community and our community as a whole. Merci beaucoup for your vision and your leadership. Bob, I acknowledge and I want to acknowledge the tenacity with which you have defended this project from the beginning and we are very appreciative of that. Merci beaucoup. I can't say it enough, the partnership between all orders of government on infrastructure is critical to making impactful projects happen in our communities. Today's announcement demonstrates that this partnership is working through the Investing in Canada Infrastructure Program a program that provides invaluable leverage for our municipal governments. And we want to see more of that sort of stuff happen in our municipalities throughout the country, uh, throughout the province. Je terminerai en soulignant la contribution importante des deux filiales de l'AMBM dans le projet. D'abord, le CEDEM, qui a travaillé fort pour aller chercher le financement nécessaire à l'intégration du groupe d'aînés, le Centre des Blés d'Or de Lorette, dans le projet du Centre communautaire. Puis aussi notre filiale d'économie verte, EcoS Canada, qui a assisté la municipalité rurale de Taché avec l'élaboration de propositions pour la réalisation du centre en assurant une lancée de développement durable au projet. Aujourd'hui, cette lancée est une composante incontournable dans la soumission de projets d'infrastructure d'une telle envergure et sans compter les opportunités à venir pour EcoS Canada de continuer à appliquer cette lancée de durabilité au projet. Once again, congratulations to the, to the Rural Municipality of Taché. Thank you to all our valued allies, and long live the new Taché Community Center. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. I would now like to ask Yvonne and Michelle to share a few words on, about the project. And thank you for your hard work, guys. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Legacy. <clears throat> An honorable Premier Stephenson, <laughs> An honorable Member of Parliament, Mr. Ted Polk, uh, President of the Association, oh, President of the Association of the Bilingual uh, Municipalities and a resident of Lorette, Mr. Justin Johnson, 
I am of Tashi Mayor Adama Poirier. I am of Tashi Council members, Bibliotheque Tashi Board members and staff, and residents of Tashi, of, uh, Tashi Municipality. On August 12, 2004, the Municipality of Tashi passed a resolution to establish and support a public library. A board was formed on September 14, 2004. A partnership was formed with Seine River School Division. This meant that Collège Lorette Collegiate would use the library room during the day and Bibliothèque Tashi Library would use the room in the evening and on Saturdays. A librarian was hired, books and library materials were purchased so that with all these steps in place, Bibliothèque Tashi Library opens it, its doors during the library week on March 1, 2005. Although the partnership is a su successful endeavor, the library has challenges to meet, to meet the needs of its patrons. One is not being able to access the library during daytime hours for young children and seniors. And another restriction is unable to access the building on certain school closures. In the anticipation of one day being able to build a library, the library board and other volunteers have worked diligently for many years planning fundraising projects to raise funds for this huge project. Yes, after many years of fundraising, selling freezies, chocolate bars, recipe books, used book sales, Christmas markets, golf tournaments, fall festivals, winter carnivals, Sisters of the Holy Rock concert and silent auctions, weekly draws, and co-op grocery card sale, Chase the Ace Lottery, and receiving so much support from so many partnerships with the RM of Tashi, Seine River School Division, Lorette Community Center, businesses, organizations, families, seniors, and individual residents of the RM of Tashi. Now, with this special project announcement today, it is time to move forward. This arena, a library complex, will be a hub for a community gathering place to share sports and activities indoors, outdoors, and library services with events, programs, meeting rooms, etc. A place for individuals, families, groups, organizations, young and old, for everyone. It will certainly be an awesome facility to provide so many services for so many people for so many years to come. <laughs> this announcement today is making our dream a reality. Seeing families enjoy all that it will offer, navigating and participating in indoor and outdoor environments and to the library for resources, all interconnected and working as a community. It's time to celebrate these wonderful partnerships. Thank you, merci. That day is today, January 23rd, 2023. It is the day that our dream materialized, an arena library complex in the RM of Tashi. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to speak today. Thank you to Premier Stephenson, Member of Parliament, Mr. Uh, Bob Lagasse, for coming, here, for coming here today to be part of our exciting announcement. We are also very appreciative of the RM of Tashi's support, Mayor Armand Poirier and Council members, as well as Christine Hoplet and staff. We also want to honour the acknowledged and acknowledge all the municipal leaders in the past who have forged the way to this final product by their contributions and support. Thank, Thank you, you, everyone.
Thank you both. This concludes the formal portion of this event. Thank you for, to everyone for coming out.